Cool, it's your boy J. Lou, and you are just in time for something new. All right, now when it comes to this video, what I wanted to do is basically follow up with my previous video that I just shot. I've been getting a lot of inbox questions. A lot of people have been hitting me up asking me the question, Hey, yo, J. Lou, when it comes to my size, my size are very thin. When you mention the stuff about the do rag standing out your size and everything by wearing them tight, how can I grow my size thicker? So, what I decided to do, I figured I'd make a follow up video just to be able to address a lot of those concerns and comments, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people that are new to my channel, most of the time, when if you come to somebody's channel and they have over 100 videos, you don't want to go through and search through all of the different videos. But at the end of the day, I have made a video previously where I addressed some of this stuff, but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in regards to how to do scalp massages especially for your temple areas and your sides as well as give a little bit more tips just to help you guys out so with that being said let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video all right so when it comes to this tutorial the things that you will need today the product that I'm going to be using is the Wild Growth Hair Oil. This product right here, I'll make sure I put the link in the description where you can find it. One thing I wanted to say about this, because one of my subscribers pointed this out, but with this company, you got to make sure you look for the Wild Growth Hair Oil label, you know what I'm saying? Because ever since this company came out, they've been seeing amazing testimonials. I, I may even put their Facebook page uh, in, the, in the description below, but ever since they came out with this project, they've been seeing a whole bunch of amazing testimonies. But if you guys already know, if you're great, they gon' duplicate, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, there's a lot of companies out there that try to advertise it as the same thing. Basically, they, they just came out with their own replicated versions of it, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta make sure you look for the wild growth hair oil. Now, like I always point out, there's two different bottles. There's the white bottle and the yellow bottle. The yellow one is a moisturizer, but the white one is more so for growth. You can use both of them for growth, but this is more so for a moisturizer. The next thing that you're gonna need is a wide tooth comb. Now, I believe this is the Crest 6000 comb or 3000, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll make sure I put the, the link in the description where you can find it. You're also gonna need a medium brush. You can use any medium brush that you want, you know what I'm saying? This is the Torino Pro. I did a review on this bad boy. I'll make sure I link the description right above to the silver bullet. I don't know if this brush is still in stock, but at the end of the day, you can use any medium brush as long as it's 100% bore bristle. And then the last thing, the last thing is very optional, you know what I'm saying? You can use a mirror. You don't really have to, but because I'm going to be showing you guys on video, I need to use a mirror. So with that being said, let me go into the details and to the tips. All right, so when it comes to your size, one thing that a lot of people don't understand, if I just take a look and show you guys my size right now, when it comes to most people, especially waivers in general, you know what I'm saying? Waivers have a very hard time whenever they go to the barbershop because a lot of times if you go to the barbershop, one of the main reasons why your size will come out thin is because most barbers don't really know how to cut waves. And I'm not saying that to stun on barbers or put them down or anything like that. This is just something that is hard to deal with. So just to go into a little bit more detail, the reason why this is hard to deal with is because even myself, somebody, I cut my own hair. I know how my hair grows. I'll make sure I link a video right up here, you know what I'm saying, that basically shows you guys a little bit more details about the importance of scalping and what it would teach you in regards to your, your natural hair growth direction and everything like that. On that video, I'll go into a little bit more detail showing you guys that on my sides, my sides, my hair naturally grows down in this direction right here, right? But when I'm brushing my pattern, I'm brushing my pattern in this direction basically trying to brush my, my waves towards my temple on this side. So whenever it comes to getting a haircut, if you tell your barber, hey, cut me with the grain or whatever, follow follow my wave pattern and everything like that, blah, blah, blah. What they'll do is they'll start cutting your hair this way. And most black people, we, we deal with this, you know what I'm saying? Most people in general deal with different hair growth directions when it comes to their hair. So if a barber's trying to cut your pattern with the grain following your hair, and he doesn't understand the importance of making sure he doesn't press or dig too deep, or if he uses too low of a guard when he's cutting with the grain. Now, the closer he gets towards your temple area where your hair grows differently, what's gonna happen is he's gonna hit that, that patch of hair and it's gonna cut it against the grain because in order to cut your hair with the grain, it has to go in the natural flow or the natural direction that your hair wants to grow in. If you cut your hair at any angle that it naturally doesn't go in, what's gonna happen is it's gonna equal against the grain. You know what I'm saying? So whenever they get to the sides in the temple area, what's gonna happen is your sides will come out way thinner, you know? So, and like I said, because with most people, 
their hair on the sides grow in very different directions. So for me, it's only in the front part of this area as well as to the back where my hair grows down. But whenever I cut my hair, being a self cutter, understanding how my hair grows and everything like that. And even if I try to cut with the grain, you can clearly see that my temple area came out very thin right here. Now I did this on purpose in the future. I'm only cutting against the grain. Now a lot of people tend to ask the question, what's better? I always say against the grain because against the grain gives you a way more even cut. I'll make sure I link a video right above when I used to have 720 waves, you know what I'm saying? That will show you guys how to cut your hair against the grain if you want to cut it yourself. I highly recommend doing that because even if you learn how to cut your hair against the grain, which is easy, all you gotta do is keep a guard on there and just basically go against the flow of your natural direction. You will get an even cut and then you can brush your hair back down and go to the barbershop and get a lineup, which will be cheaper and will ultimately help you save more money. You know what I'm saying? So no. now when it comes back to the tips, our size and our temple areas grow very thin because of that reason, because most of the time your barber is cutting your progress out on your sides. Now, once you start doing against the grain haircuts and everything like that, and you're really trying to thicken up your sides, the next thing that you got to take in consideration is this portion of our hair. A lot of people tend to think that your hair texture is the same, but this portion of your hair, and some people may be different. If you have callus and things in different areas, you will run into the same issue. If you have a different texture in your hair, my hair is a lot more straighter when it comes to my sides, so therefore it doesn't curl up as much. So what that basically means is I have to let my hair grow a little bit longer, but like I said, if I'm getting my hair cut with the grain and my barber keeps cutting out my sides, it's gonna be hard for my sides to grow thicker. And that's what ultimately makes it hard to get waves on the side in this little temple area right here, you know what I'm saying? So if you start getting against the grain haircuts and everything like that, the next thing that you wanna do to kind of help speed up that process is, like in my last video, you have to stimulate this area to promote blood flow, you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, blood flow will bring all the nutrients to your scalp to make sure your scalp is healthy. Now, with the growth oil, like I always say, our scalp is like a garden. Garden, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to a garden, you can till the ground and everything like this to, to prepare it, to get it ready. But if you don't put the nutrients onto the ground to help give it what it needs, you won't be able to see the growth that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why you need to use a product that promotes hair growth. And that's why I use the wild growth oil. You can use any oil of your choice that promotes growth or promotes thicker hair. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, what I typically do is on the directions, they say use 15 to 20 drops in your hair. Because I'm only using it on my sides, what I'm gonna simply do is use five drops on each side, you know what I'm saying? So basically how I'm gonna apply it is I'm gonna only apply the oil in, in this portion of my hand right here, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna massage it into my scalp and I'm gonna explain a little bit more the importance of doing these scalp massages. So let's get into it. So like I said, I'm just put one, two, three, four, five, right? You take your mirror and then you just put it in the area where you want your hair to grow thicker. And you just massage, massage it in. Now while you're massaging it, you wanna make sure you use your fingertips and just get it in the area to cover all of that area up. What you will start noticing is your scalp will start becoming a little bit more red and that is a clear indication that blood, more blood is going to this area because you're stimulating it. Now, with that being said, like when it comes to the scalp massages, one thing I didn't go into detail about in regards to doing scalp massages, there's different techniques that you can do to do a scalp massage. What I'm doing right now is just simply referred to like a scramble wash, you know what I'm saying? This is typically uh, whenever you scramble the product into your hair and you just massage it in like that. But another massaging technique that you can use is you take your fingers and then you just do circle motions right here. So you can do circle motions for at least five, five to 10 seconds, go to a different area, do those same circle motions right there. Go to a different area, do the same circle motions and everything like that. And, and just basically just follow it out uh, with the circle motions. Now, this is kind of like, if you wanted to give this a name, this will be the circle massage technique or method. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to scalp massages. The other one would be the scramble method right here. Whenever you're just scrambling your scalp, and scrambling your hair and everything as well. Now, the last technique that you can do is you just take your fingers, you can take two or three or whatever, and then you just go side to side. You know what I'm saying? So you can refer to this as the side to side scalp massage method or whatever the case is. But you wanna massage your scalp in different techniques. I'll explain a little bit later. 
what you're trying to do is help loosen up your scalp as well as your skin and like I said to stimulate and promote their blood flow now whenever you're doing this what you want to do is do it for five minutes on each side of your temple area you know what I'm saying so you do it five minutes on this side and then five minutes on the other side whenever you wake up in the morning you can apply the oil and do this massage techniques and everything like that but one thing I didn't go into detail whenever you do it the second time in the day when like most of the time you do it right before you go to sleep you don't have to apply the moisture or the products or whatever you want to use you know what I'm saying you can just do the massage techniques the only time I apply an oil is if I notice that my scalp seems to be a little bit dry or whatever because you don't want to massage dry scalp you always want to make sure you keep it somewhat conditioned with an oil or something like that now with that being said whenever it comes to the comb the reason why the comb comes back into place is because you want to take the wide tooth comb portion of it the wide tooth comb acts as a detangler and it will detangle your hair and your waves and allow you to be able to get your waves to line back up but at the same time it doesn't put too much stress onto your hair Now, once you've gotten your hair combed out, then you can just go into a brush session and just use a medium brush. And this can be for ever, how, however long you want to do it. But whenever you start brushing with a medium brush, what it, help, what it helps to do is bring back definition to your waves. You know, so you basically just brush to get your pattern back. <laughs> All right, now as you guys can see, when it comes to my right side, now because the way that I brush this side of my hair, most people, if you haven't seen my wave pattern before, I basically have a hybrid, you know what I'm saying? So on the left side, it looks like 360s, but on the right side, it looks like 720s, you know what I'm saying? Whenever it comes to my right side, because I'm brushing my hair in a downward direction like this, when I go to cut my hair, it's, it's, it follows the natural growth of my hair pattern, you know what I'm saying? So it makes it easier for me not to have my sides thinner on this side, but at the same time, like I said, the same rules apply no matter if you have a hybrid, no matter if you have a slant or whatever the case is. You always want to try to at least cut your sides against the grain to give yourself an even cut. And then you can cut the rest of your hair with the grain. You know what I'm saying? Now, the same things apply. So I'm going to just basically take the five drops, put it onto my hand like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then simply massage it into my scalp. Start off with the scrambles massage technique. Just trying to distribute it and get it all the way through off of my scalp area. And then you can do this for anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute. You know, because like I said, you want to do it for at least five minutes on each side at the morning time and at night time. In the morning time, you apply your product and at night time, you don't have to. I'm only saying this again because I know some people skip around on my videos. And I'll be like, bro, did you even watch the video, man? I already answered your question. I'm not about to comment, you know what I'm saying? So if you ever leave a comment and I don't re respond to you, that's the main reason why, you feel me? But then the next thing you want to do is just go into those other two techniques that I showed you. So the, the second one was the circle massage, where you do this for like five to 10 seconds. And then the last technique, like I told you, was the side to side massage method. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you can take either two or three fingers and just go ahead and do that, like I said, for five to ten seconds in each area. Once you're done, use your comb and basically just comb your pattern back into place. And then go ahead and use your medium brush. All right, 
Now, like I said, you can brush forever how long you want, you know what I'm saying? But whenever you brush, make sure you use a medium brush. You don't need to use a hard brush on this process. Now that that part is over, if you want to click off the video, you can. But to go into a little bit more details, the reason why I start off with the scramble massage method is because that's the most intense form of producing that blood flow into your scalp, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going in different directions at a very vigorous pace. And sometimes it depends on how much pressure you want. You don't want to use too much pressure and you don't also want it to be too light. You want to make sure you find a good amount of pressure and a good speed to where it's not agitating your scalp too, too bad. You know what I'm saying? Now, the second method, the reason why I do the circle massage method is because when it comes to intensity, it's a it's a step down from the scramble method. You know what I'm saying? So I basically start doing a circle massage method and everything like that. And then the last method that I do is the side to side method. The reason why I do that is because to me, that is the lowest intensity method because at the end of the day, I'm only going side to side. I'm not going in circles and everything like that. Now, the reason why scalp massage massages help is because a lot of people don't understand but like I mentioned in my half porosity video I'll make sure I link that right above here one of the things that a lot of people fail to consider whenever they do the half porosity is the state that their water is in you know what I'm saying most people don't understand that there's hard water and then there's soft water you know what I'm saying but if you live in an area that's considered to have a lot of hard water basically a lot of minerals within the water what you will notice and one thing you can probably tell is whenever you take a shower after you've taken so many showers or whatever the case is around the shower head you will notice that there's like this white stuff that, that kind of builds up and everything that is called calcification and the main reason why that happens is because hard water has all these different minerals in it that will produce calcification on the surface or, or whatever it's creating you know what i'm saying so if you take that concept if you are always showering and washing your hair with hard water what it's going to do is cause a like a calcification and build up onto your scalp you know what i'm saying and one thing the reason why scalp massages help is when i first start doing scalp massages one thing that i noticed and one thing that you may notice is the skin on your head may be very very tight because i know mine was but the more and more I did scalp massages, what I started noticing was my skin start loosening up, you know, to the point to where at first I couldn't pinch my sides or whatever. But the more and more I started doing it, I started noticing that I was able to pinch and pull my skin towards each other. Now, on the top part of my head, I noticed it is way tighter in compared to the size. The size loosened up very, very fast, you know what I'm saying? And it was able to allow more blood flow and everything to go through. But like I mentioned, whenever you start losing hair at the top, it's because the top of your hair doesn't receive that much blood flow. And at the same time, if you are constantly washing your hair with hard water and using these uh, toxic ingredients and everything like that, it's gonna produce like a calcification effect onto your scalp. And once your scalp gets to that point, it can't receive the nutrients and the minerals that it needs to be able to grow and thrive. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, that's why I always give the example of a garden because in the garden, you have to go out there and do the work to prepare the soil, but at the same time, you have to give the nutrients, you know? So the oils are the nutrients and the scalp massages is basically you doing the groundwork to help make sure that your scalp is ready to receive those nutrients you know what i'm saying but with that being said you can do this method for however how long you want to do you can do it every single day you can do it every other day but you don't want to go more than two days without doing it you know so at max you can do it one day skip a day do it another day skip a day do it another day every other day you can do this method and like i said what you'll notice is your skin and your scalp will be very tight and then over time it'll loosen up now like i always say when it comes to the body if it took years for your scalp to harden up and all of that stuff like that it's kind of like gaining weight you know it takes people years to gain weight but whenever they want to lose the weight they want to lose the weight fast and stuff like that you know and it's not healthy to lose the weight fast and it's also unrealistic to try to lose their weight that fast what you want to do is set realistic goals whenever it comes to doing these scalp massages it's gonna take some time for your skin and your scalp to be able to get to that point to where it's loose and the blood flow is going and everything like that you want to make sure you're eating right now on my how to grow thicker hat naturally video i didn't go into details about the internal process that you need to do in regards to considering what foods you eat and everything like that but with that being said the more and more you clean your diet up the more you drink water and all of that stuff like that what you will realize is it will help speed the process up you know what i'm saying but with that being said i don't want to talk you guys heads off too much i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it make sure you drop a like if you learn something new and you feel like this can benefit somebody else feel free to share the video but with that being said it's your boy j lou Salute. Come brush with me, a hey, do what I do. Lou is the name, I'm so off the chain. Torino is the brush, do wet wood grain. Brush a wave, I have some. Brush a wave, I have some. Brush a wave, I have some. Brush a wave, I have some.